about is stream gear, which I think can be a little bit challenging to navigate when you're relatively new to streaming because there's a lot of different things to upgrade. So it might be difficult to know, you know, what should I upgrade first? What should I get first? I think it is okay to start with the basics and then upgrade with time. But I do want to kind of give some insight on some things that I think people might not know right away. When it comes to gear, one of the things I think that people really underestimate is good audio quality. If your mic sounds like a potato uh, and your viewers can't understand you, it's just not going to be a good experience. You know, it's going to be it's going to be challenging and it's going to be more likely to drive new viewers away. So having solid audio is a really, really great thing to have for your stream. It definitely can make a stream feel way more professional. I'm currently using the Yeti caster. My first microphone that I ever purchased was actually a blue Yeti microphone. And I really love it because for the price, it's incredible quality for the price. I really do love this mic arm as well because it makes it easy to kind of move this in and out uh, as needed. And it just kind of looks really cool too. <laughs> I know that's just like a, it's like a side bonus, but there's something about it that looks really cool. I'm a big fan of the Blue Yeti microphone. I think it's a really great pick if you're looking for solid audio at a good price. Um, if you're kind of just getting into content creation. Having a great headset is important for a number of reasons as well. I really love the Pro X headset. Uh, not only does it look super sleek and cool, I honestly kind of feel like a cool like space pilot or something whenever I wear this headset. Uh, it's also very cushy, very flexible, um, and just very comfortable to wear for a long period of time, which is very important when you're streaming. The last thing that you want is to have a headset that gives you a migraine in the middle of your stream, and then you have to end your stream because of that. I really love it for editing as well. A lot of times after streams, I'll be editing clip compilations or something like that, and having a solid headset like the Pro X really gives me the ability to hear the audio in great quality as I'm creating a video. I also really love it for travel as well. I've had many times in the past where I have traveled and brought a little microphone with me and this whole stream setup. And one of the things that's really great about the Pro X is it comes with this super cute little detachable microphone, uh, plugs in really easy like that. And it actually has incredible quality audio. I was very impressed by this because it sounds super clear, super nice. And there's a lot of customizing that you can do with it in the G Hub software, which is great with the Blue Voice uh, technology. And I was very blown away by it because lots of headsets might not have the best quality audio. So to hear that from a headset was fantastic. And now I feel for future trips, if I'm traveling and I want to stream on the go, I probably would leave a mic behind and just bring the headset and the microphone. It also comes with this great carrying case, which I love as well, because you can just put everything in here and bring it with you. And one of the most important components of your stream that we definitely need to talk about when it comes to gear is your camera, the thing that allows your viewers to see you. Yes, very important. When I first started, one of the very first things that I upgraded was my webcam because I was using a really, really old one from the early 2000s. I don't even remember what kind it was, but it just was not good quality video. And so I upgraded that and it made a world of difference in terms of how professional and nice my stream looked. Logitech has a lot of really, really great options when it comes to webcams. So it's definitely worth taking the time to look at sort of what you're looking for in a webcam and figure out which one is best for you. I have used pretty much all of the webcams that have come out since the C920 and I've been very happy with all of them. It's very easy in the G Hub software to modify the webcam settings to your liking so you can get things looking the way you want. And I love that they're so easy to mount and move around as well. So I would definitely recommend checking those out if you're looking for a good quality webcam. It's also great to take some time to think about what you want your stream set to look like. Do you wanna use a green screen and not show off what's behind you? Or do you wanna have an actual set? It's another thing that just really depends on your preference and what kind of aesthetic you're looking for in your streams. I really like having my room in the background because I feel that it's very personal. Um, my audience can see where I am and I feel like you can definitely leverage that to kind of show off some of the things that you love to new viewers. Somebody new coming into my stream might be able to very quickly learn about some of the things that I like and some of the things that we're all about by taking a quick peek in the background. So I think that that's a really great thing, but with a green screen, you also can have a very professional, clean sort of look. So it definitely just comes down to preference, but it's good to spend some time thinking about what you wanna do with that. And last but not least, this isn't gear per se, but an important thing to note, if you can stream using ethernet, please do it. I was streaming on Wi-Fi when I first started and because Wi-Fi just fluctuates a lot, I had my stream thrown offline a bunch of times, which was always very frustrating and discouraging. So I would highly recommend using ethernet and checking your internet and making sure your speeds are good to stream and adjusting your um, settings in whatever streaming software you're using as well to make sure that it matches whatever your internet can handle.